My name is Steven Uchingo Kwany. I work uh, with Talent Africa. I am the executive director of Talent Africa. Uh, basically, Talent Africa is an art organization that uses performing arts and media as the key advocacy tools in addressing uh, primarily community uh, uh, setbacks and really fi trying to come up with sustainable solutions to the same problems. Uh, in our work, we primarily target key populations whom um, in several past, uh, the recent past, I mean, I've had quite a number of challenges in terms of human rights, in terms of uh, uh, general acceptance at the community level. Towards the same regard, we managed to organize um, this prep dialogue that brought together different partners in Kisumu County. We had uh, Kisumu P Educators, Kisped, we had Anzama Pema, we had um, uh, Cambridge CDC, we had uh, Nyarwek, we had KMET, we had Cash, we had Family Health Options Kenya coming together to push and really communicate the need and the importance of key populations picking up PrEP. So in this um, PrEP dialogue we had a great menu of art, great menu of art that really provoked debates, provoked discussions around PrEP, uh, uh, starting with uh, uh, an amazing play, we had a creative fashion line, we had uh, sessions on poetry, spoken word, purely open mic. And then apart from that, we also had a very nice array of fashion display by amazing fashion, uh, 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 amazing models. Ideally, uh, this was to have an understanding, an in-depth understanding of PrEP and really uh, uh, kind of do away with the myths around PrEP, that PrEP is a, is a hair view. You know, there's quite a very bad understanding of PrEP outside there. Not really bad per se, but a misconstrued understanding that really PrEP can cure HIV or PrEP uh, um, uh, as this way of really coming up with, uh, with increasing libido and things of that sort. So our understanding from where we sit as an Africa is really to, uh, to change that narrative so that uh, we can have discussions around drop-in centers on our art, on how basically our art can be used to provoke those discussions so that we can have key populations picking up on PrEP. And when you're talking about, when you're talking about key populations, we're talking about MSM, we're talking about WSWs, we're talking about FSWs, the female sex workers, the male sex workers, and also talking about really young girls, uh, young girls, the adolescents, and young women who are also at acute risk of contracting these, these, uh, these virus. Now, at, uh, at Atlanta Africa, we're looking at really pushing this PrEP dialogue forward really capitalizing on, on, on lessons learned from PrEP or, or from the PrEP dialogue to get a better and rather a more concrete intervention outside there. We're looking at incorporating communities, we're looking at incorporating the general community in discussions, in debates, in dialogue, in kamukunji so that uh, from that, from that, from that um, uh, discussions can have the ripple effect where information can now spread further to other target audiences. Um. I'm Gregory Isaac. Okay, the, the PrEP dialogue was good. It was benefit to us, people who you introduced PrEP to. Now we know that with PrEP, we are safe, even though we are not 100% safe with it, but it did help us. With the 90%, 90 we know that we are safe, even though now the condom will get in, all the other preventive measures will get in with the 10% to protect the 10% which is left out. Yeah. In the PrEP dialogue, first, okay, I, I, I participated in the PrEP dialogue, as a, as a model first. Yeah, the first model, we came out with the, the dinner dress, which was good. Then the second uh, runway, we came now to present the, the prep itself with the, the, with the African attire or your own design. Yeah, with the information I've received from the di prep dialogue, I've, I've shared it with my friends, people around me, on what prep is all about and how PrEP help us. Me personally, to be honest, I'm now on PrEP and I know that I'm on a safer side, even though I'm not that 100% sure. So with the information I have, I keep on spreading it to my friend and people who are close to me for them to know what all PrEP, about, PrEP is all about. I'm Kennedy Odiam Bogola. Yeah. I'm a, I am an MSM. Yeah. I'm a health activist. Uh, I'm a PrEP champion. I was doing a I was doing a fashion show to actually create awareness on what prep what uh, it uh, uh, what the prep is all about. Yeah. My name is Sheila Muya, and I'm a beneficiary of prep. 
Um, before the 21st PrEP dialogue that Talanta Africa organized, there were so many myths and misconceptions that came out. I thought of enrolling to PrEP for PrEP, but this myth that talk about affecting your hormones as a female, and also they were talking more of it's like ARVs. So I didn't have the actual idea of what PrEP is. When I was invited to the PrEP dialogue, I was so interested because this was, this was an opportunity for me to know what PrEP is all about. So the PrEP dialogue that Atlanta Africa organized really built me up as a female, as a young female in this case, that I learned it was one of the preventive measures of HIV, not actually 100%, but 90%, it covered a huge percentage, that is. So after the PrEP dialogue, I went out to my other female, my age mate in this case, my schoolmates, and we had a discussion about PrEP. It has nothing to do with hormonal imbalance. It had nothing to do with affecting your female cycle, which is which is something that most female fear. It has nothing to do with family planning, family planning. It was not easy to pursue them into coming to, to come for PrEP. Some of them are so afraid. What will people think about us? We'll just say that you are so much into sex or something like that. But I had to tell them PrEP is for everyone, especially at youth. It's true, we are sexually active as young people. Okay, I've encouraged, I've encouraged my fellow team of young female to come on board and have a test of this discussion so that they will seal the myths and misconceptions that you are getting from the community. Talking about the, the PrEP dialogue where we're involved in as, as, as a partner, we believe this was a good initiative by Talanta Africa and we realize that it's much important for us to chip in, especially being that we also work with sexual minority group. And this become one, it's in line with one of our thematic areas, which is sexual reproductive health issues. And you know, basically, LGBTI persons or sexual minority groups are at most high risk of getting HIV infection. I be, and I, be, and I, believe, I believe PrEP Dialogue was giving up a good platform where we can work towards reducing the HIV risk infections among the LGBTI person, and especially the MSMs and female sex workers. As, as KISPED, we joined in as a partner to make sure that the event was, was much successful, and that event was in a good position to bring the LGBTI persons and the theme of the day that was, was to be achieved. So we use also art as the basic tool during that day to perform, and also Talent Africa also tried to use art as the basic tool to advocate for, to create up the dialogue during, during the day. And we also had different kind of stakeholders also make sure, work to work towards making sure that the event was much, much, much successful during the day. As a partner, what, what we achieved is, is our, main, our, main, our main mission is to make sure that the message reach out to a sexual minority group. And the theme, which was the PrEP dialogue, was, was achieved. And the main purpose for this is to make sure that we empower LGBTI persons, we empower sexual minority group. Because we basically believe that the society, especially the sexual minority group, they have this myth and misconception about, about the PrEP issues. Where some of them think that it's like a keyword to HIV and AIDS. Some of them think that it's 100% uh, preventive, forgetting that there's also other STIs, there's also other diseases that they can get without, without, if they don't use protection. Because people believe, especially if they are in prep, now they can't use other preventive measures while engaging in sexual activity. And also apart, apart from that, we wanted to make sure that the message of sexual reproductive health reach out to LGBTI person and sexual minority group is comprised of even sex, sex workers who are also at high risk of HIV, HIV infections. From the PrEP dialogue, what do you really achieve, which is also some, something that is very important to talk about? You know, pulling together partners in one platform to debate and talk, uh, give a sharing on what they've been doing, how best they're going to do the interventions in the coming future, was one key success that we were really passionate about, that we talk about as Talent Africa. And uh, as we move further into that day, we're looking at the numbers we got, we received quite an amazing number of, of, of 
it was amazing for, for, for a prep dialogue that had a target of around 20, around 200 people. We had a target of uh, 20, there were 23 people enrolling for prep, and we had another 13 people going for uh, prep counseling before actual uptake of prep. So that is something that you're really keen on as a very amazing impact, and we need the ripple effect to take to take course and uh, the 23 to bring even more and more numbers, more and more numbers. And using this art, we are really looking at still provoking debates and discussions, machinani, through this rich medium that we have, the performing arts and the media itself.